guys, it's Katie and welcome to day 23 of Breast Health Awareness Month. And today I wanted to talk about brain fog that comes with menopause and or cancer treatments. Um, basically memory loss, right? Um, but this is actually something that I didn't know about originally that the link between estrogen and your memory, right? So it is a natural part of aging. A lot of women that go through menopause find that they become forgetful and, you know, they just can't, they just can't reach into their memories and they start getting really worried. Well, yeah, it's actually is connected to estrogen. So when your estrogen levels drops, your memory function also drops. Now, this is scary enough when it happens over time, um, when you're going through perimenopause and menopause, but if you're someone like me that's forced into menopause early because of breast cancer and breast cancer treatments, um, a lot of breast cancer treatments will cause menopause. And, uh, you know, we, we, we know that with chemotherapy and whatnot, that a lot of people go into menopause. And then if that doesn't happen or you don't do that form of treatment, um, there are a lot of treatments that they put you into menopause. They put you on medications that purposely take away your estrogen. And even if you're in menopause, a lot of women are surprised they're in menopause and they're like, they have an estrogen positive cancer. And they say, well, how can that be? I thought I'm not producing estrogen anymore. Well, again, you're always, your body's still producing some estrogen, just your ovaries aren't, but your fat this is why if you're overweight, it's more likely that you could come become get breast cancer because your fat cells, you know, produce estrogen, right? There's there's lots of different ways. Progesterone um, could convert it into estrogen. So you have to manage your overall um, hormones. And that's why I will say right now that um, I, I wanted, I am going to post below an article that inspired today's uh, talk. Uh, they came from UCLA, which talked about, um, yes, it's totally natural to have brain fog and, uh, you know, when you go into menopause. But they will say, you know, one, one way you can get around that is to do hormone replacement therapy. And they also caution against it. But I would definitely not recommend that path because that path can actually increase your risk of breast cancer even if you don't have it. So I do not recommend hormone replacement therapy. So then what do we do? Ah, good question. Yes, it's not all doom and gloom. Um, basically, there's lots we can do. I love it when, you know, even a place like UCLA backs up what I already teach, but they do talk about, you know, getting uh, like a, a very good diet, which is high in omega-3s, high in healthy fats, right? So they recommend a Mediterranean diet. Um, those are all things that I've always preached. So again, you can manage it that way. And then I also wanted to give you another resource right now, as it turns out this weekend, the Food Revolution Network is sponsoring a free brain health masterclass. So I definitely recommend you check that out. I will put the link to that below as well, um, both to the UCLA article and to um, the uh, Food Revolution Network Masterclass, which again, is totally free. I, I, I love what they do, so I, um, I support their stuff, recommend you check it out. Um, but basically, oh, and another thing they point out in the article, the UCLA article, is exercise. And again, something I've always preached, right? But um, exercise, they find um, even light exercise, they say, such as yoga and Tai Chi, love it, um, uh, even uh, can improve both memory and mood. Yeah. Okay. So again, this is all stuff I know, but maybe you didn't know it. And maybe you're suffering from um, the, the side effects of not having a lot of estrogen, whether it be naturally, just because you're of that age, or because you've gone through breast cancer treatment. But it's good to know these things and know you're not crazy, And um, but there are things you can do, right? So I, I, I recommend you check out my two resources below and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a great day. Take care, bye-bye.